Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Wow, that was great. <laughs> really? So, sometimes I do this to dust and it's a thing. I, I'm I start... to get my water intake in because it's important. Drink responsibly. <laughs> right? That's a thing. Water break. <laughs> yeah. So, um... This guy, uh, drinking water, water is, is Dustin. He's our bourbon guy. I'm Keith. I'm kind of the music guy. Kind of. You got water in your glass. Uh, let me drain that. And what we do here do we is do? we uh, listen to country music. Wait, did I even bring up the right video yet? Yes. Yeah, please. I did. All right. Um, <laughs> we don't edit. You get that. Yeah, we, when we do dumb things, you get to see us do dumb things. Idiot. Yeah. Sometimes I'm an idiot. We both are. That's why we're here. Yeah. All right, so we're doing some... Ooh, this one's yours. Tis mine. I've not had this yet. Is it good? Seems like you like it. I mean, it's halfway gone. It's more than halfway gone. So, um, this actually started as a joke between a buddy and I. Okay, well, we'll get to that when we get to the bourbon. We're at 91 Proof. Okay. Old Pogue. Mm -hmm. Master Select. Mm -hmm. What are we listening to? Uh, so we are checking out Gary Allen's Tough Little Boys. Or Tough Little Boy? No, boys, plural. Yeah. So, hey, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this song. Hey, Old Pogue. There are Pogues. What? Is this fake? I saw some pose. Oh shit. This was unintended. I never once back down from a punch. Well, I take it square. I thought for a second he was going to have a chocolate chip desert camo cowboy hat. <laughs> and I would have lost my shit. Either laughing or crying, not sure which, but I would have lost my shit. I should probably just start this over. No, you cannot have my glass. This is good. This is really good. I never once back down from a punch. Well, I take it square on. Why? That seems like a bad plan. Right? Well, That's how you go to sleep these days. The bullies just that. You've got to stand up here. But not with your face. So I didn't cry. Blocking That's... punches with your face is a bad plan. Right. And, like, Rocky was good because he could take a punch to the face, right? That's the only reason Rocky was any good. He could take a punch to the face and keep going. You don't, you don't generally, like, you, you don't back down from a fight, but from a punch? Should we just start this whole thing over yeah, I again? Guess so. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I never once back down from a punch. Well, I take it square on the chin. Well, I found out fast the bullies just that you've got to stand up to him. So I didn't cry when I got a black eye. As bad as it hurt, I just grinned. But when tough little boys grow up to be dads, they turn into big babies again. <laughs> kind of you scared me to death when you took your first steps. Oh, I'd shit. fall every time you fell down. And your first day of school, I cried like a fool. And I followed your school bus to town. Did you do that? Well, I didn't cry when old Yeller died. At least not in front of my friends. <laughs> right. Though tough little boys grow up to be 
dance, they turn into big babies again. That was not expected. For me. I'm wondering if this is going where I think it is. Well, I'm a grown man, but as strong as I am, well, sometimes it's hard to believe. Now one little girl with little blonde curls can totally terrify me. You know what they say. If you were to ask, my wife would just laugh. She'd say I know all about me. And how tough little boys grow up to be dads. They turn into big babies again. Well, I know one day. We don't edit. Yep, nope, we do not edit. So, uh, welcome, Joanna, to the middle of our reaction. And happy birthday. <laughs> For those of you uh, un unaware, um, my wife just came home for from a night out with the women's the women's yeah and uh, just kind of walk right through our set it's okay it's all Your cool set is my living room <laughs> accurate that is true Actually, quiet on the no. set <laughs> wow I didn't do it I didn't do it <laughs> watch your hands watch your hands <laughs> Until this bullshit ensued. <laughs> back to our song. Alright, back to our song. I'll give you away, and I'm gonna stand there and smile. But when I get home, and I'm all alone, well, I'll sit in your room for a while. Well, I didn't cry. When old Yeller died, at least not in front of my friends. Bone tough little boys grow up to be dads. They turn into big babies again. Bone tough little boys grow up to be dads. They turn into big babies again. So I mentioned, you know what they say. What do they say? They say, I heard this from a friend. <clears throat> Little boys break things. Little girls break you. <laughs> Can neither confirm nor deny, but it sounds kind of true. So, the message of this song is partly accurate, partly not, at least for me. Right? Yeah, so, thank you. Yes. Okay, tell me why. What's for you? So, um... You, he's right. You kind of do be sentimental, right? And cons concerned and freaked out about things maybe you shouldn't. You know, yes, my kids out there doing all the crazy shit that I did as a kid, and oh hopefully my, not. Oh my hopefully god, hopefully not any of that. You know, he's out there doing all the crazy shit I did, right? Um, Oops. So yeah, that kind of concern level and all that mm -hmm. um, it, is legit, right? And I think there's a, uh, so my dad actually made the statement that uh, when I was deployed, it was one of the toughest times he can remember. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's you in the fields. Well, you know, I was just kind of like, well, that's a little dramatic, dad, you know. <laughs> well, then my son went in. Mm -hmm. And I'm like. Fuck. Holy shit, it could get deployed. I'll be a babbling idiot. Mm -hmm. 
especially if he's deployed to certain areas. Uh huh. Because you know. Yeah. And so that part of the song, I think, is correct. Makes sense. Which but... ties to the imagery in this song. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, listening to those words, uh-huh. there was nothing in this song that justified all the military imagery. True story. And I got to tell you, I think that might piss me off a little bit. It was weird. Because I kind of feel like old boy might be cashing in. Oh, shit. On the uh, military support going on right now. Now, I'm sure you guys are going to tell me I'm 100% wrong. You're going to come back and you're going to say, this guy, you know, he's been out with the USO tour. We know nothing about him. He, you know, he's a veteran himself. You know, he did freaking, you know, nine years with, you know, uh, Fifth Special Forces Group out of CENTCOM. I I mean, you guys are going to come tell me I'm wrong, but... There is no connection in these lyrics specifically to anything military, and exactly everything in that video was military imagery. Right, which was weird for the And I'm lyrics. hoping, hoping that this dude just didn't cash in on that. It's almost, um, you know what, if he is, I'm going to be pissed. Le- genuine, genuinely pissed. Literally, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, so I'm hoping it's not. Let us you know. guys tell us. Yeah, let us know, because we didn't... Z- you know, we know nothing about this stuff. Not, not First a thing. time we've ever heard this dude. Or For this all song. I know, this guy could be walking around with a distinguished service cross, and I'm gonna be eating my freaking words. And we're okay with that. <laughs> I've seen him eat words. It's hilarious. I'll do it. Yeah, it he will do it. Yeah. But the thing that kind of got me. So, for me, obviously, it's a little different. Mm-hmm. But. It also, so it talked about grown men turning into babies again. Babies. Yeah. But the part of me that, like, it doesn't, so there's another side to that, right? Because you also get on, like, there's there's this, so if you had a girl, so one of our good friends has a girl. When she's dating age, (laughs) is he going to be a baby? Fuck no. No, what's he going to do? He's going to be one of the most scary human beings on planet on Earth. On the planet. <laughs> Garen, fuck. He will, I, my guess, this is a total guess. My guess is when she's dating age, if she ever brings a boy home, first of all, I feel sorry for that boy. Second of all, he's going to be cleaning his guns in the dining room. All of them. There's a lot. I, I don't. I, I, I've got a son. I don't have a daughter. Right. Same. And um, one of the deadliest human beings I know mm-hmm. has two beautiful daughters. Oh, shit. And I really haven't asked him how many... Is this the guy that can reload faster than you? He can. This is the guy that practiced for a month. Yes. Okay. To be faster than <laughs> me mean. because I was quicker. Right. Up and on target uh-huh. and, and getting the shot off than he was one Can time. Can we say his name on channel? Nah, I'm not going to drop All it. right. All right. Um, but uh, I have not asked him how many mine shafts he has mapped out in southern West Virginia. <laughs> So there's the turning into a baby right. aspect, and, and then there's turning into every teenage boy's worst fucking nightmare ever. Yep. You know, so my ex-wife, her dad was the bodyguard for the governor. Okay. He made that very clear. <laughs> Son, I got places to bury you ain't even on maps. He made that very clear. And he, he made it a point to come home when I was there. In on uniform. A, on in, yeah. And strip his gun down. Uh-huh. Right? So I'd have been like, it's disassembled, motherfucker. What are you going to do with it now? <laughs> pull out the other one. <laughs> yeah, that's right? what he does, too. Yeah. Guaranteed. You know I got this backup right here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> right? So, yeah. I, that's the part of the song that I was like, it's missing something. Because I could see... The lyrics make sense, except for it, it's missing a big piece. It, it's true. You do turn into a big baby, but you also turn into a fearsome, deadly protector at the same time. And that's the part that's missing. 
Yeah, that's the part that was messed up. Because it makes it sound like every dad's a pussy. So. Frankly. Yeah. It kind of does. It does. Yeah. That's how it hit me. not. Right. That's, I was like, wait a minute. Mm, Something's so, true. But, oh, Pug. Tell this, us the story about this. So, it was a buddy of mine's birthday. He's, he's a, get the, get your grimy little paws off there. That's mine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Washed them. So, uh, buddy, buddy of mine, um, I think it was, it was his birthday or something. I can't remember what it was. But, uh, and he's a vet. So there's a term in the military community called per- pogue. And what it means is person other than grunt. And this is old pogue. This is old pogue. So uh, pogue, that's a pejorative. You know, it's, it's almost like calling somebody a pussy. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. You know. It fits with the song. So uh, Wow. If, it, it actually does, and that's totally by accident, too. So, well, that's why in the front, I'm like, I see pokes. Right. <laughs> so, so, um, there's a bunch of razzing. So, the buddy that, uh, I, I'm walking through the liquor store going, I've got to buy him something, whatever, and I see a bottle of old poke. And he was combat arms, uh, just like me, but he was combat communications. So wherever the infantry went, he had to go to. This was the same guy we were talking about in the previous story about the girl that's going to be dating age. Actually true. Um, So he, you know, wherever infantry went, he went to. And uh, me being a combat engineer, hell, I'm a pogue too. I went everywhere the infantry went. I just carried a lot of freaking explosives with me. So I see pogue (laughs) and I'm like, (laughs) here's an opportunity to call him a pogue. And I buy him a bottle. Well, he bought me this bottle to turn it back around. The The pleasant side effect of this is that this shit is really, really damn good. I'm a little annoyed. So the bottle, as you can see, is pretty barren, right? There's a little bit of words down here. Um, but here's why I'm annoyed. Distilled in Kentucky, bottled by Old Pogue Distillery, Maysville, Kentucky. What's that tell you? I don't remember who's in Maysville. Well, we've never been to Maysville, so we should check that out. But what it kind of... Huh. I wonder if this is Google. It... Because it says distilled... It literally says distilled in Kentucky, period... So they're not telling us where they distill it. It's entirely possible that this is distilled by an amazing high-tech distillery Bardstown. called Bardstown. Bardstown Distillery. And I'm going to tell you right now, I do not care in the slightest. True, but I wish they'd like be... Yeah, we'll go down there and freaking ask them. Yeah. Doom, doom, doom. Hey, we need make your shit. Yeah, we need to go to Maysville. Yeah, we do. Because... This shit is good. So this is outside uh, my normal price range for... Really? Yeah, it's about 100 bucks. Okay. And this will not be the last time a bottle of this is on my shelf. It's so good, dude. So many, like, up front, so many caramels. It's caramel up front. It's straight, like, it's, it's caramel. <laughs> and then it kind of just... It stays caramel for a while until it rolls back to a a bitter... What? How do you describe the finish? It, it's just the bitter, oaky bourbon finish. Yeah. The fun part about it, though, that's on the center of the back of your tongue. Mm-hmm. On the sides, there's this roll of cinnamon that, that just runs right down the sides of your tongue. Not wrong. And both of those linger forever in yeah. the finish. It's just... And it's... 91 proof. It's, it's, I think the smoothness is right about what you'd expect from 91 proof. Agreed. But a lot of, a lot of, for me, when you get a bourbon that's below 100 proof, the finish doesn't last as long. This one does. Right. No. This one stays. This shit is so good. Absolutely. So, do so, you know who you are that bought me this? Yep. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. 
<laughs> I got to try it. So that's awesome. Uh, the song was kind of it was a little, like it wasn't bad. It was a little bit of a miss to me. And I'm gonna throw one more thing at the song that I'm gonna piss some people off. I'm sorry. If you're here and you get pissed off, tough shit. I right, mean, you know, really, you know what we do. Um, you're gonna get honest opinions from us. That's all we do, and no editing. Uh, so, the thing that kind of missed me m- more than the lyrics about this song was his singing. His delivery was almost whiny. Oh, ow. I didn't really think about that. So, I'll tell you what I think I need to do. What's that? I think I need to go off channel and listen to the song again without all the military imagery. Because um, the video shifted my brain into that mode, and I don't think it's the right mode. Agreed. It didn't hit it, it. You hit it perfectly. It didn't match the lyrics at all. Uh, and and I think that may have colored my perception. Okay. Um. I I hope it didn't come off as whiny because that was the death of rock and roll. So you we need to do that. Yeah. Do you guys want to watch? No. They do, but we're not going to. We're not going to do that. Not this time. We may drop into the comments and tell you what we thought about it after listening to it, uh, sans the video. Yep. So, hey guys, if you enjoyed this, give us thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy it, you're wrong. Give us a thumbs up anyway. It, if you hated it and it pissed you off, I'm sorry. You always get... You're not sorry. Actually, he's right. I'm, you're not, I'm it's freaking not sorry. not. Eh, anyway, <laughs> subscribe anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah click the little bell so you get the notifications. Um, new things drop. Yeah. Three to f- f- six a week. We've been putting out a lot lately. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Generally three a week. Most important thing for us, and we interact with you guys in the comments. So if you go look at our, our older videos, you will see us in the comments and we always reply as Bourbon Country reacts, but we'll usually throw a tag. Dustin will say, hey, this is me, or I'll tag, hey, it's Keith. Yeah. Um, Sometimes I'll tag if I'm, it, I'll, I'll tag Keith. Not yeah, really. I don't no, do he's that. never done that. I don't do that. But um, we really enjoy interacting with you guys in the comments, so give us the song suggestions. So tell us what to. we need to listen to. Give us bourbon suggestions. Tell us what we need to uh, drink. That we haven't checked out already. Every song we listen to comes from y'all every song every one of them do you have any idea how much bourbon we have to buy to keep up with you guys because every believe it every song is a new bourbon also i don't know if you realize that but that's true we have spent crazy cash (laughs) buying bourbons to keep up with this channel but We've also got some really good bribes. Yes, you have sent us some great bribes. Some of you have sent us these awesome, inexpensive bribes that are like uh, under 20 bucks. To be fair, we've gotten one unicorn. Which which unicorn? Like, I'll say unicorn. Which one was that? The Blends. Yeah. That That surprised us. I couldn't believe one of you sent us Blends. So thank you again. Thanks. Yeah. Um, So... uh, but yeah, so get in the comments, tell us what to listen to, and if you want to propel your song to the front, send us a bribe address, should be in a pinned comment. Yep. Till next time, guys. See ya.